Hey, how you doing? You know me, just just walking around, just, just doing what I do. I'm on the corner of Indiana and Rory. I start rambling and talking about this place. Dad, it's 10 in the morning. There's a cop car on the corner. I am perfectly safe. Don't worry. This is the block where my mom, but my mom grew. My mom grew up here. All my aunts, my Aunt Joan, my Aunt Claire, my Aunt Trish, my Aunt Barb, my Aunt Judy. Claire, Joan, Judy, Trish, Claire, Joan, Judy, Trish, Barbara, Mom. That's the six. My mom, my grandmom and grandfather had six daughters. Uh, my Aunt Barbara, who just passed away three years ago, lived in this house on Roar Street. Now, this is the problem I'm having. I don't remember what house it is. I remember there was a space. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk up and down Roar Street one time for my aunts so they can see their childhood block. And also their friends, so they can see their old house too. So they lived somewhere, it's either that house, Be this house. Oh boy. I think there used to be stables here. When I was a baby, I lived here. When I was born, I came here. When I came from, I was born in Pennsylvania Hospital. And the house I lived in, one of these houses, I'm sorry, I don't remember. God, I can't believe I don't remember. Um, but when I was a baby, there was a real bad storm. And the roof blew off the house. Huh. I don't remember. So we're just going to do a little walk down the street. One of these houses is my grandmom's house. My Aunt Barbara's house. And it's a Roar in Indiana. In between Indiana and Clearfield Street. And this is what the block looks like today. Not a bad block, kind of quiet. You're all in this house here. All right, turn here. We'll do this other side so they can see this side of the block. Uh, my parents had friends. Their their uh, their parents lived here up until recently. Uh, so. My Aunt Barbara, who I know this is my mom's house and my, my aunt's house, uh, but I know it's the house they grew up in, but to me, it's my Aunt Barbara's house because when I was a kid, we used to go there for barbecues and we used to go there for uh, cookouts and swimming in their pool and uh, lots of summer days spent in the backyard, one of these backyards, and uh, we would sit in the pool me and my cousin George, we would play Nintendo uh, and uh, listen to music and uh, we would go to the record spot and buy some music and come back. We would buy cassette singles, which was one song on a cassette tape and it was $2. You spent $6 more, you got the whole album. I don't know why we did that, but so this is it. Roar in Indiana. Mike and Debbie, that house is somewhere right there. I don't know which one that is either. That's crazy. You can remember some things so vividly when you're a child, but this block does look a little different compared to what it was when I was a kid. So what I'm going to do now is, since I'm here, I'm going to walk around the McPherson Square just to see what that's like nowadays. And again, it's 10 in the morning, Dad. I'm all right. So here we go. I'm going to hit pause. I'm going to hit pause. So, so I'm at the corner of E in Indiana, and here we are, McPherson Square. Eh. Look at that library. Oh, they got a playground. Yeah, when I was a kid, they used to have, my mom and dad used to take me sledding here. 
and uh, it was, I think it was on the other side. I think it was called Nutcracker Hill or something like that. And when I was a child, I don't remember what movie they filmed here, but I remember there was barrels of fire and they filmed a movie here. Uh, now, some people say that this area is done. Like, you can't refix this because of the, the heroin epidemic, the drug epidemic. It looks very clean to me. I mean, I, again, it's 10 in the morning. But look at the playground. The playground looks nice. The library is still there. Somewhere, very historic thing happened. Somewhere on one of these houses, I don't know where, I went to a keg party when I was like 17 or 18. 17, I was 17. <laughs> and uh, I met a young lady named Mrs. Captain. Her name is Cheryl, but you know her as Mrs. Captain. And uh, we were at a keg party. Uh, it was me and three of my friends, and for some reason we were in control of the music. And we were talking, and I introduced myself to Mrs. Captain. And we, we met before that in school. Uh, she went to the same high school I went to. But I don't remember what our meeting was like. You know, I think it was that house right there. But, uh, so I met Mrs. Captain in one of these houses. And 20 years later, after the, for our first meet, well, after the first meeting I remember, uh, we're in love. And uh, we're happy together. And uh, it only took 20 years. So, <laughs> but, so this is, you know, it's not that bad. I, I was expecting it to be uh, like a war zone. It's really not that bad at all. It's really nice. Uh, tire tracks, I don't know what that's all about. Look at that tree. And it's funny, my mom and dad, I was just thinking, well, my mom and dad lived really close to each other. Because my grand, my other grandmom, I made a video for, she lived on Willard Street. My mom and dad, my mom, not my mom and dad, my mom lived on Roar Street. And I was like, wow, that's pretty weird. They lived so, well, my mom and dad uh, <clears throat> met when they were teenagers. So, of course, they lived together. They didn't, they didn't drive. My dad didn't get the first car until uh, he was a... Uh, Maybe 20. My Uncle Frank gave him his car. I remember. A blue car. There's the statue. Charles Allen Smith. Hey, Brucifer, if you can, I know you sometimes do the, uh, the like, the uh, the copy and paste story where you type the whole story of the person. Charles Allen Smith. What's that all about? Let's find out. Or I could do it. I could do it, do it. Uh, if you don't do it, I'll do it. There's Charles. He doesn't. But one of these, I think this is Nutcracker Hill. Right here. And wait, you would get your little sled. And we go right down here. Right on the oncoming traffic. I'm almost positive, Cheryl. That's the house. So, okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, my mom and dad, uh, I'll tell you their story briefly. My mom and dad uh, started dating in their early teens. Well, not their, yeah, their early teens. And uh, when my dad was 16, my mom was 15, a beautiful blessing called the Philly Captain was born. And... Uh, to, and the, the best thing about my mom and dad, there's a lot of great things about my mom and dad. I love my mom and dad. But the best thing about my mom and dad, even though they had me as a teenager, they are still together to this day. And you can tell they still love each other. It's not just something they're doing to, to get by for the kids. Because the kids are all grown. Our, my baby brother, Mitch, is getting married next month. Uh, all my brothers are in their mid 20s. The earliest, the youngest is in their mid 20s, and I'm in my 40s. And uh, 
My mom and dad aren't even in their 60s. That's, that's great. I get so much time with them. My kids get to enjoy them. And I really appreciate that. Uh, so, that's McPherson Square. Uh, now, I heard that the library has to keep a lot of that Narcan. Once, once, on that stuff. Because people use the benches to show up. That is a quick video, a little walk around McPherson Square and my other grandmom's house and my Aunt Barbara's house. And technically all my other aunt's houses because uh, they lived there too when they were a kid. It's a pretty nice little area. Okay. Alright, that's it. That's my little walk and talk. Uh, Mom and Dad, I love you. All my aunts, if you're watching this, I love you. And if you're just watching this and you don't know who I am, I like it. I mean, I don't know about love. Love's, love's a commitment. But if you can, hit like and subscribe. And I will sail with you later. Doodles!